Are we ready? <laughs> Is everybody <laughs> too quiet tonight? Wow. Okay. Oh, uh, so did you guys hear about the red and blue ship that collided? All the sailors, they were marooned. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the A Fool Podcast. This is number 104. 104. I'm Earl, Marty Man 23. That is Joey Brick Trains. This is his channel. We're in his basement. Down below is Jabbo and yet another shirt. I think that's the first time this year he's worn it. So maybe he's maybe he's got a video coming. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> well, that, that, yeah, that's a. I have to save that, my special shirts. Yeah. <laughs> well, that one's not. I'm, I'm really amazed at by that pile. Yeah, it hasn't fallen yet. <laughs> it, there's no way it'll make it through the year. So, the, yeah. Uh, so well, you you're haven't... gonna need a ladder. <laughs> Yeah, I think it would go to the ceiling if it was able to get through all 366 days. And you're just, I guess you're just over halfway now, right? We're over halfway, yeah. I, th yeah. I think you need to put the camera on you putting the shirt on there every Oh, day. so when it, it falls. So when it well, falls. It's probably going to fall yeah. when I'm not there. <laughs> Charlie's going to rub up against it and it's going <laughs> to yeah, It's hilarious. Okay, so... What do we want to start with? We, we I man, we got several kind of vintage things here that we can do. Uh, I have a it's the A Fool podcast. Well, that's yeah. I get back to our roots, right? <laughs> we could do a live opening. <laughs> oh no, what's that? What is that? Yeah. Well, we got that, or we could we could do some puzzles, or, or we could go ahead and add a set to brick set. <laughs> you know, so you know, shy. Let's just say you know. Twice, you know, yeah. I, you know, if I knew you wouldn't be telling me. <laughs> so, Shai said we should say what we're going to say before we say it. Well, like, the, only, the only way that would work is if Joey figured out how to edit us a clip to put in the beginning. So, what I was thinking is like, it'd be too hard to edit it, but we could just say what we're going to talk about in this episode. What are we going to talk about? And then this will probably be the only time we, we'd ever do it. <laughs> well, you remember we used to do that at the very beginning? I, I would say like a couple things, and then one absurd something, you know. That was before the days of the jokes. So. Oh, it, yeah. I was like, you know, oh, we're going to talk when about have we ever really prepared? So No. No, I, I feel like I'm way prepared tonight just because we got all this. Well, let's so we're do gonna this. I think can I go can I go through what we're gonna talk about? Possibly. Yes. Yes. We're gonna talk about the Rose Art puzzles. Okay. We're gonna talk about adding a set to brick set. Okay. We got Joey's mystery package. Yes. And we're gonna talk about the is this does this relate to the yes. bow and arrow? Yes. Okay. The eight and one Batman set. Yes. Uh Lego is now uh believers of flat earth. <laughs> Yes. Did a Romeo worker, Romeoville worker, comment on a brick trains video? And then I don't know about this other stuff. Okay. <laughs> well, stay tuned. Yeah. Yeah. Stay tuned. We'll get there maybe. Well, no, let's I got about the Duplo set. Let's start with the Duplo set. Okay. Let's start with it. I didn't bring it up here with me, but I sent Joey some pictures. So I got some pictures. Hang on, let me. Get you can crop out the Brick Star's basement. So this right here will go to prove to you that um, that there are sets in existence that Brick Set and Brick Link doesn't have on file. Yeah. Right. Okay. So well, here we are at Brick Set. Type in twenty three sixteen. Okay. Twenty three. No sets. No sets. No matching sets. Yeah. But so we Cabo has proof in his book that. It is. It was a known set. It's not like an anomaly. Or I have proof in my basement too. Well, <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> yeah, but proof prior, in to, prior to getting that, you have it in the uh, what? What's the name of that book again for everyone? Uh, the the Lego Collector's Guide from two thousand eight. They also did a reprint in two thousand eleven, which I haven't had the courage to open yet. Oh, they your book is still sealed. Yeah. 
my 2011 reprint, which has updates and corrections. I have yeah. both of them, and they're both open, so I guess I could have went and looked at 2311 to see if yeah. 2311. Why can't I do that? 2011 version to see if it's yeah. in there. I'm sure it would be, though, right? Why would it not? Well, it was in the 20, two, uh, the 2008. The 2008. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like that's well, my problem. <laughs> what do you call 1908? I uh, wasn't around. Usually I don't call it. <laughs> well, I mean, like if you said World War One happened in 1914. Yeah. The Titanic sank in 1912. Yeah. Uh, who won the World Series in 1907? Was there a World Series in 1904? Which year we we was it there was no World Series besides 1994? So why do we not say 2004 or 2008? That is true. Why don't we say 2000? Yeah. Hmm. Because of the movie, 2000... Uh, 2001, A Space Odyssey. Yeah. Is that it? Is it a cultural thing then? A cultural I, reference thing? I, I hmm. think it is. All right. Okay, so we've established that Brickset does not have it. So we're going to make it happen. Are you? See yeah, you're seeing the menus pop. Okay. I'm ready. I'm, I'm watching it live on my phone. Live on your phone. <laughs> 2316, correct? Yes. And do you know 1988. the year? 1988. I took a picture of the side of the box, but I don't know if I sent it to you. But the copyright on it says 1988. Okay. And sometimes... Heather, where is she at? Well, that's my... <laughs> oh, no, the name my of the set. <laughs> We get to name it. Hang on. Let me see. Let me open it. Does it have it a name on the box? It have a name on the box. So we get to name it. Oh, oh I want to name a set. It's the name not in your book? Basic building set. Six interlocking. Let me look at my picture again. Oh, you're not seeing the picture I'm looking at. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't see a name. All right. Um, All right. Okay. The question is, what is it? Is that a horse? A dog? Oh, <laughs> uh, turtle? It's Duck? Not a turtle? Well, it's got like a blue bat. To it. Maybe, maybe we should put. Maybe we should put. Make a survey, and then whatever the survey comes up with next week, we'll ask. Because <laughs> the back is definitely a fish and a snail, right? Okay. <clears throat> um, let me. But it actually, it does say preschool basic building set on the box. So is that what we wanted? Is that what we wanted to say? I guess then? that's technically what the yeah. name should be. Preschool okay. basic building set. You're making me dizzy with that yellow arrow. I'm sorry. Preschool basic building set. Okay. Uh, All right. Yeah. Well, no notes. How many pieces were in this? Six pieces. Six Woo. pieces. It was a box. Boxed. Yeah. Yeah. And availability, do we know? Macari. <laughs> Macari. So retail limited. <laughs> I don't know the availability. Yeah. Uh I'm sure. Okay. It was we'll just do we'll just change it to unknown for right now. Yeah. Okay. And the set was released because you have a copy of it. Yeah. And the, the book, the 2008 version of the book said gave it six bricks, which means they consider that rare. That was the rarest. Really? So, okay. Yeah, they, they had a scale of one to six. So, I mean, there are a lot of things that have six, but I don't know re the reason for that. Okay. All right. So now we should be able to open set. Now, there it is. It is live on Brickset. There's no pictures. We can fix that, can't we? Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on, okay. So I'm going to go here to this image. And oh, there it is. We're going to drop it in. Are you finding it now that we've <laughs> says? Unfortunately, we don't have an image for the set. If you can provide a scan, please get in touch. Let me do that real quick. <laughs> oh. Okay, I've gotten no, in touch. No. <laughs> this is the front. Would you consider that the front? That's the front. Yeah, That's definitely okay. the, the front. All right. Well, I take terrible pictures. Image uploaded successfully. Go to set detail page. Sometimes this takes a while for it to buffer, so it may. It'll be there in a few minutes. Wait, wait! You forgot one important thing. You okay. Have to click it on your want list. Oh. 
And Jabo could go go there right now and click on his I own it set. Yeah, right now, like zero it. members own it. <laughs> Look how many people own the set. Does it show <laughs> on yours how, how many? Oh, it says zero members zero own Zero members it. own it, yeah. But I, I got it clicked that I own it. Did Maybe you already click on it? Oh, it, page. Maybe you gotta gotta refresh. Refresh. it takes it a still minute. says zero. Oh, you know what? It takes a day for Brick Set to update. You can, yeah. All right, so now I'm going to. I think I could do two of these at a time. Drag those there. Let's see. This could take sometimes, it could take it a minute. There they go. Two uploaded successfully. So, oh, I got something else I can do. What video was that that I showed that in? Uh, I have it, it's in the show notes. I, I copied the link. So, there are the two. There's the back of the box. Oh, yes, a fish. I see it. Yeah, there's definitely a fish. Late finding rare Lego Omakari. That's the video. Yeah. And then there's the uh, bottom. Yeah, see, 1988. 1988 said, but that yeah. means it might have came out in 89. Well, definitely a U.S. product because it's infield. And it's got piece count on it. And it's got a piece count. Yes, you're right. And if we go back to image, we may have to refresh this for. All right, let's see. Yeah, it's going to take thing, uh, videos. Add a link. Oh, can can you do that? I'm Perfect. doing it right now. Perfect. So right now there's none, but in a second there should be. Oh wait, it says it wasn't a valid URL. URL. Now, now can anybody do that? Or you you I, have a yeah? You can add the, the thing for anybody, but it, anybody but I, I think it. you have to be an approved reviewer. Which is separate than like an admin. I think somebody oh, that must... you've reviewed some. Yeah, you probably have. Well, you were you're you are. I don't do reviews, star, but you <laughs> would have. You, but they consider the videos like a review. So okay, so they probably added you to that point at, at some point. All right, let me refresh the page. Did you get your video in there? Yep, there it is. Look at that. There. That's gonna be confusing because it's not a picture of the the set. It'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be absolutely that's all I talk about, I think, in that video, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Nobody and can talk about right. a six piece duplo set as long as me. Now, I think if we do a search for the 2316 now, yeah, well, it shows it's the broken. Not sure. Yeah. Well, I know yeah. like when I add it to my my sets that it usually doesn't show up till like the next day on the um right. See, here's something that I what I hate is, the search. Yeah, because like it just brought up this. Oh, something else. The, so when I do a lot of vintage searches for like the three digit and four digit set numbers, it'll pull pull up part numbers or sets that those three numbers are the beginning of the set. Right it's, there, it is. It, yeah. It's there now. Awesome. Um, but and it still is, makes see. It's still taking a while for the yeah. pictures to up. Uh, the, the pictures are buffered by a third party. But whenever and, you hit the images, States. they show up though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By but, the time people watch this video, it should be live. It should yeah. be live. Yeah, by then. So yeah, that's the alternate. I don't know what the why the main image always takes longer. Uh, but there's also this category over here, and it has the TBA. Yeah. Somebody Hugh or somebody at Brickset will change that after they kind of review it. Oh, uh, I, I don't know what the process. I hope is they understand it's a Duplo set. Did I not set? <laughs> well, yeah. it says in Duplo, but I don't know what the category would be. Animals. Oh, I don't know. I put it in sub theme as basic. Yeah. So, and I don't, and I don't know the category above the thing group. Oh yeah, the TV. I don't know that. That's like released or something. It'll. Okay. We'd have to look at another one to see what the category is. Some other set. Let's just look at another basic set. Oh, I should rate the set. I never do that. What have Five I done? Stars. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> Let's look at some. Look, oh. here. Why are there are not very many basic sets, is there? Well, under the Duplo theme. Yeah. So category C, it says normal. Yeah. So oh, it, it just refreshed. It, oh, did it? Yeah. So, yeah, unfortunately, since this is the first, we're the first ones to put it on here. Like, who knows what Bricklink would have, how they would have categorized it. Yeah. I, but it literally says that on the box. Duplo 
basic set. Yeah. Well, and we have those. We got the du the Duplo theme, and then the sub theme is basic set. So a preschool basic building set is the name. That's yeah. awesome. Look at that. We are helping the community. Yeah. See, don't ever say that we don't help the community. The sad thing is now this is no longer a missing set. I know. <laughs> we just messed up your video. <laughs> the irony. We should have recorded. Oh, we should link this into that set too. I'll make that mine. I'll add that image. As yeah, that. yeah. Okay, stop sharing. All right. Oof. There. We did oh, our. So how much did you get paid to do that? <laughs> Wait, is that a heart? And that's. What I, I think people should appreciate about Brickset. I yes. mean, I know Hugh and he's got reviewers. They get free Lego. They they probably get more. Lego from Lego, then probably even beyond the brick. I bet they do because there's a, they review a lot of sets. Yeah, yeah. yeah but uh, they're, I mean, they've been doing it longer than anybody too. That's true. But that's true. um, but the those reviewers, I don't know. He might have people that he pays, but I don't know. I I, 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 I bless their hearts. I don't know how they write such long reviews. I mean, I know. And and they put a lot of thought and effort into it, but these websites like Brickset and even Bricklink for years have been this information that's out there is just people wanting to give it. It's like they're not really gaining anything from it. No. What? No. Does, who does, doesn't uh, individuals like you or you don't have, don't do it for Bricklink, but uh, upload part lists? To Brooklyn, I, I could. Know they used to. I know they used to. Don't. Yeah, and you can, that. Yeah. And you, you can still do that. And you you can still do that. Yeah, and, uh, it, and that's what I was thinking. It's like maybe that's something. When I retire, I would like to do that. But the the problem is, and this is why Hugh didn't want to do a lot of vintage sets back in the day, is because there's no way to guarantee the accuracy of some of the parts lists, especially the basic sets. The right. general sets um, that they just have random parts in them, <laughs> right? And uh, so you want if you put an inventory, you want it to be accurate. But then you get something like uh, there's there are some sets that no two sets were alike. Uh, Correct. Parts packs. Yes. Right. Samsonite was bad about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You. Yeah. But there are. I mean, I'm sure there's probably hundreds. Of sets that probably an inventory could be done. Yeah. Oh, it, accurate. Yeah. The the thing is, is Brickset doesn't keep an inventory. They pull their information, I think, from Bricklink. Yeah, because the error message right now in twenty three sixteen is, uh, it says neither Lego nor Rebrickable has an inventory for the so, set this year. But then it gives a link to go to Bricklink. <laughs> so you know what? I guess that's what I, I should take my images. Go into Bricklink and submit it. Yeah, I, I you can do that as well. I have no connection to Bricklink. In the last yeah. couple times that I've added, tried to, I, I added them. They got successfully added. Somebody that ended up being the reviewer, the person that took the information that I inputted, but they contacted me because they they were. I don't know how to be nice. I've, I've been in a very not nice mood at work, so I'm trying to be nice, <laughs> <laughs> but. They knew nothing about Samsonite. Oh. And they asked me a lot of questions that annoyed me because it was it was just look, dude, it's right. <laughs> I oh gave my. you the pictures. You know, I don't really and they're they're trying to make their stuff at and this was after Lego had taken over. So yeah. they're they're very much trying to make sure that their information is accurate. And okay. let's agree that the Samsonite stuff is a little a little bit of a black hole that there is not a lot of good reference material out no. there for it. But I had, it was the stuff that I uploaded or the images and stuff. I was images in hand. I had sets in hand. So I know, yeah. but it was at best, it was tedious. And mm. being doing this for free, it, it my, uh, my patience and time ran out quickly. Yeah. So, but, but Brooks, here's the thing for me to verify the contents of this Duplo set, do I need to open it? <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's, it's got a picture, it's got a picture of all the parts on the box. And how many I think the are. picture on the box would be plenty of so verification. Yes, yeah. I think. So. All right, and so what I want to do 
is get one of those eyeball bricks that is that version of the eyeball brick, the right. two by two, because yep. I didn't realize it until I got this set that, that according to the picture on the box, there's no it's dot. different than the ones that have been made the last 30 years. So is that part available on Bricklink then? Or is that a... I don't, oh, you know what? I didn't look it up. It's one of those parts that may, it might be because it's Duplo and nobody cares. Right. Oh, I yeah. So I need to... Uh, what is that called? It's a two by two, right? Two by two... I. Oh, look at I. Yeah, two by two I. All right. So there's Duplo ones came up. Let's see. Oh, or is it I? I got maybe I got to do it singular. Even though there's two. Yeah. So the soft brick doesn't have the pupil. What's the why, number? Why did not come up under Duplo? Two by two brick. Two by two brick. And I want to see yellow ones. Oh yeah, it, it, it is. Uh, it's two by two with black eye centered without white pattern on opposite sides. Okay, so it's so it, it is like a three thousand three PB zero ten on Brickling. So how many sets was that in? Yeah, according it's... to Brickling, it appears in not applicable. Oh, so this to, to some person out there, this is going to be. A oh, it's a uh, 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 a Q element, <laughs> but Q it's not, element. it was it's actually not. in a set, yeah. And there are some for sale on Bricklink as low as one cent. There are a ton of them for one cent, but I guarantee you, I could buy these and they could be the other version, yes, yeah, because it's one of those things that you might not notice, right? I can't guarantee that I would have noticed it. Right. Well, I I think this is something that you should take the time and put in Bricklink. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized that there's... <laughs> the, the eye itself can be in different positions. Oh, man. No, this makes it even worse. There's the, <laughs> and, the, and then there's the white offset, the white in the eyeball. There, there's a... Uh, Okay, so I was I was only looking at the dot in the mm -hmm. black circle in the eye. Not only is there that, there's also the eye can be at the bottom or on the side, I think. Oh. But that could be a case of you could get three sets and get three different ones. Well, maybe. Could and then you? there's offset, they're centered. Oh, my goodness. I have gone down a terrible rabbit You've hole. You've gone down a terrible <laughs> rabbit hole here. <laughs> Oh yeah. wow! Wow! Huh. I think mine doesn't have white. It's in its offset. I think that's what that box showed. Yep. Oh, it does have white. It, sh it shows white on the box, but no white in. It's very confusing what I'm saying. There's can you no show the image again? Show the picture again. <laughs> yes. Yes. Here we go. This is more information about a two by two Duplo brick than anybody needs to know or cares to know. All right, you see how there's the circle inside the circle, uh -huh. and then there's like the crescent moon is the white part. Some of the bricks that is the color of the brick instead of oh. being white. Also, some of the that that black circle within the circle is at the bottom instead of the side. And others, the entire eye is slid back and not centered with the brick. So there are like a lot of different versions <laughs> of this brick. Wow. <laughs> wow. But according to the box, right, which is that's what's in the there. Right. And I would not, it would not surprise me if I was to open the box and there'd be a different version of that brick. Don't do it. No, I'm not, I don't want to yeah, do it. Yeah. Don't, do it. don't do it. So now we're all going to be looking for 2316s to open. Yeah. So I, I, I want to know what this set was now. The, I, this is the kind of stuff I really like. I mean, it's not that I'm just, I like Duplo, but this mystery. Yeah. Where's Jacob? We need the mystery machine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So do we want to go to the other? Um, 
anomaly or whatever we want to call this. You put this in, Earl, didn't you, about the dark brown? The dark brown. Didn't you put in that you that, or did you put it in Jabo? I think it was me. Yeah, I think oh. it was Jabo. So s somebody got a vintage lot of castle, but the yeah. quivers, instead of being the regular brown, right. they were dark brown. And he was like, Is this is this like a, a counterfeit or is it so he had a dark brown one. He had several. It was like a lot. And then the instead of the quivers being brown, they looked dark brown. Did they just dis get discolored? But I went, I was at work. I went on and looked at BrickLink just to see if there's, and yes, there's variations that are dark brown listed on BrickLink. There are variations listed on BrickLink. So I'm not going to show this seller. I bought this off of BrickLink with, and it is a dark brown. So let's show this part of it. Can you see the difference between you got a so which the regular browns the, in this the is, middle? That's reddish brown. That's brown, and that's, and that's dark, dark brown. Yeah. And that's old dark brown. Yeah. Which I guess is the same as new dark brown. Is very it? hard to tell the difference from the. I was I was hoping that was going to show up better. I could say, I mean, I could tell. Okay. Well, the seller didn't... contacted me and they, you know, they, they questioned, um, they questioned some other stuff and they, they were like, no, I'm, we're, we're going to refund your money. And I thought, no, 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 no. <laughs> but I don't, I don't, cause I question whether or not, and this is the first time I'm seeing this. I just opened it up from this customer, from the seller. And I'll be dipped. It's reddish brown. It is dark brown. It is dark brown. Wow. It is not. Let's. It is definitely not reddish brown. Whoa. Yeah. Well, there you go. Man, that color is not going to show on here. You can and see it not. there. You can. Well, you can't see the discrepancy. It's, it's hard to tell when it's against the regular brown, but against the reddish brown, you can see yeah, it. You can definitely see the difference. Yeah. yeah. And you can even, especially when you put it in front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to line those things up when that camera's right in front of you it is it's very hard to do that it is it looks very dark to me yeah yeah you could see well, it's yeah, probably yeah. not even exactly the same shade as the official dark brown well there's it's what i was getting ready to plastic. say this is a exactly this is a different plastic than a lego piece yeah. And these are from my color chart. So but it's Lego. Uh, yeah. It's not a counterfeit piece. It's not know. a counterfeit piece. So since they actually correctly identified it, it is JT Bricks is who sent this to me. Okay. And uh seller on uh Bricklink. Uh, and they had it listed. I got another one coming because I was convinced that there was not because this is not listed as any set. Yeah. I guarantee and you that on Bricklink. It is not listed as a known color. Yeah. And this is what I told. I, and I wish I could remember who it was. I get so many messages. Then I lose track of who asked me what. If you're that person, <laughs> <laughs> send me another message. So I remember. But just because it's not listed as an alternate or in a set doesn't mean it wasn't in a set. Right. Because so many inventories... If if no if somebody gets a variation and nobody makes a, a note of it, it doesn't get added. So this might have been I don't know what it can't be rare because there's enough people out there that have it. So yeah, I, I agree. It's probably not rare. This was an expensive. Uh, I don't remember what it was, but it was like under twenty cents or something. I just probably. wonder if it was a part of the later production that they changed it out, or is it early production? Right. Uh, right. Who knows? Right. It, looking at it back here where I got the most light and I could see it, it doesn't match. Yeah. It doesn't match the dark brown either. It and that's what I felt brown. when I looked at the picture on BrickLink. Right. It, 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 like it wasn't a perfect match, but it's definitely not regular brown. It is not brown and it is not reddish brown. But it, it the closest match I have here is dark brown. Is there another dark brown? You know, I wonder if it's like pearl gold where the early pearl gold looks different than the new pearl gold. <laughs> Right, but nobody ever distinguished the two colors. Maybe, maybe. 
Hmm. Hmm. So I really thought we were going to have a mystery there that, or not a mystery, but we were just going to have a whole bunch of mislabeled colors. But no, this looks dark brown to me. I mean, it's so. it's better to call it dark brown than brown. Yeah, because if if yeah. I would have got that as a reddish brown part, I would have I would have called foul on that. Yeah. Said, oh, oh you were bad. thinking he was going to send you reddish brown? I was thinking he was going to send brown. Oh. Right. Because again, Bricklink doesn't list that this came from a part, and dark brown is not a known color for that piece. Yeah. It is a color for sale, and there is a lot of them for sale. Mm -hmm. But Bricklink, just like this twenty three sixteen that that we just put in, it's not linked to the set. Some like yeah, it either changed through the sets or Lego changed the colors and didn't nobody's caught it or whatever. But it, it goes back to the the controversy I had with the red brick that had the 720 train logo, I had a lot of people comment on that. Right. Because I was sure it was counterfeit. But everybody was saying there's no way, the way the gold looked, that it could have been. Yeah, because isn't it indented just a little bit? It's when, thick. when they did that, I was thinking that the older ones. Uh, somebody was saying, giving a reason why it not might not be as scratched as the rest of the brick because it's dur more durable or something. Yeah, because I was thinking that was like it, it was indented or something. That it was like hot pressed in or something. Yeah. That gold is a lot more. I guess durable. you probably feel it if you put your thumb across it. Right. I. I don't. Yeah. Well. But yeah, just because something doesn't show as ever being in a set doesn't mean one that it was a Q element. Doesn't mean right. it wasn't in a set. Right. So I mean But well you can't you got the part, you can't go say, Oh yeah, this was in this forestman set. Right. No, 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 no. Somebody no. would have to open a sealed wolf pack set or <laughs> something to see if and, it actually was in there. Right. And you don't know, this could have been you know, because when Lego makes parts, yep. they typically are gonna make tens, hundreds of thousands of the same part. Right, yeah. so this could have just been a bad color day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Could have been a particular factory. Could have been a pack. Yes. Yeah. Right? Could have no. been a. Could have been like a not a re-release of the set because back then the set stayed on the shelf so long, but a reproduction. Right. You know, like another run of a set. Yeah. The color, yeah. What, the color didn't match. Huh. I'm. I'm. This did not go the way I thought it was going to go, which you know that. Sorry. Was, no. It. It's fine. I I just assumed that we were going to get the, I assume we were going to get the wrong part, right? Because how many times have we done that? We've ordered a part knowing that oh. this ain't going to come in the right color. <laughs> that was that's not the, you ordered it to get the wrong part on purpose. I did. The right I did. part. <laughs> that's why I didn't right. want to show the seller. But the <laughs> seller did exactly. He had exactly what he said he had. Wow. And I just there you go, I, JT Bricks. There you go. Yes. <laughs> Good deal. Good deal. Uh, now I have to send them a link to this video so they but, they were okay, more so upset this, about this. Okay. Said it was kind of yellow. Sorry. Oh. Go ahead. So this is an example of a seller who got something right. Yes. But how many times do we get something wrong and we don't even know it's wrong? Right. Because you don't know there's that very that minor variation right. in something, or you don't know that the brick set or the brick link. Like I upload all the time from whatever the the list is on right. Bricklink, and so if that list is wrong or there's a variation that I didn't catch when I was doing it, I'm uploading it. I know somebody pointed out one of my the the U clip and the Open O clip. Hmm? Those are those are so hard to tell apart, yes. I and mean, to me they're not worth telling apart. Right. <sighs> yeah, that's. Oh, the picture finally refreshed. 2360 right. is officially there. All right. <laughs> Everybody go watch the video. <laughs> I wonder, uh, it's one thing I've wondered in um, all these years. I've got over 1,700 videos linked on Brickset. There's wow. only three people, two or three people that have more. And I had—I don't even regularly up. Link, did you, did you link, link the Ninjago one? That nobody had done a review of? Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I probably didn't. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I forgot the set number. I'll do that later. 
Yeah, I need to do. I, I I usually do like a couple of months at a time. Yeah, and I'll just go back until I get to a video that oh, that my video is already on there. Mm-hmm. But uh, uh, I think Jane and he he doesn't even update his anymore. I don't update mine anymore either. I um, I forget, but I don't well, do a lot of review. I don't do the only one that sure. does is Clockriker. But then he ends up having three of the same set, so it's hard to know how many he's really done. Yeah, because he does a a review, a silent review, and a build video of the same set. I'm like, just do it as one video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so do we? We want to. Where do we want to go from here? Well, let's talk about the puzzle. Oh, oh, yeah, we're still in vintage mode, aren't we? So I saw this in a display case, and it looked really good in the display case with the Western vintage Western sets. Display and I don't remember it. seeing that one. And I had, you know, I had to ask the guy what it was. So he showed me. And of course, I showed you guys. And the next thing you know, Joey had bought one. I, probably, <laughs> that, probably within a few hours, Joey had bought one. <laughs> Boy, Earl. I can buy stuff. Wait. It gets better than that, Earl. Not only can I blame you for one. You bought both of them, one sealed and one to open? No, they're both open. Oh, they're both but open. Look. Oh, because there's two. They're two. Are they two in one puzzles? They're different. Oh, different what? boxes. Different boxes. Different boxes. Is it the same set, just in a smaller box? Or? It, no, the, same, the boxes are the same. One, this one has a one on it, and it shows one of two. Mm-hmm. And then it's got some. Uh, oh, the, I'm two's at the, top. Your... the two's at the top. Uh, yeah, one. Two. Where's the two? Yeah, two's there. Because yeah. you got two sides of it. So this yeah. is the one, and then this is the two. Yeah. This is a bunch of foreign languages. Oh, that tells you to go to the back of the box to read. Yes. Look at that. I think that's pretty cool. So the other box doesn't have that. No ones, no twos. And oh, I that. bet you that's wow. an earlier version. Or they probably got an American version. So what's oh. cool about that is, is you put the puzzle together, and it's like a placemat, and then there's like a... You remember the old 3D puzzles with the foam pieces? Yes. You build the mountain or the cliff out of that. So Wait, that's in there? Yep. Yeah, it's all part of it. Hang that's why well, that one's better than mine, then. Yeah. <laughs> mine's lame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it so has, it, here's the puzzle pieces. That and that builds the placemat to like right. Or this is a picture and then this is the placemat. The placemat. Yeah, I didn't yes. even I wasn't the placemat is really cool. And there's like the hole that you build it on and then that's like you get these little foam pieces. Oh. I did not know that. I had never seen that before. Oh my goodness! That's a that's a really good is it Lego thing. Yeah, foam. Is the foam is drop the piece, Joey? I did. Yes. Oh, it's all around my feet. You can't. You don't even know what I've dropped. (laughs) Is it is the foam like brittle or anything, or is it? No, it's pretty soft still. And then one side of it has cardboard mountains, and then the other side, I I guess, is the interior of the mountain. It's kind of strange. And and that's weird because the. Yeah, no, it does. Does it? Yeah, you're gonna break it. You just broke it. I just broke it. It's a puzzle. Come on. Oh, you got puzzle pieces. It's pu- yeah, they're puzzle pieces. So, they, oh, this it came assembled. Yeah. Well, or the he probably did. Yeah. Or the person put it away. The per- yeah, the person who took it apart and boxed it back up didn't take it all. See, away. I was gonna, and this might be the one I do. See that one piece has got. Oh, yeah. Spent. yeah. I wanted to frame one of them. This thing's like three feet by two feet or so. It's yeah, it's, it's like a large. It's a clay mat for your you for your floor. All right. So right. Do, do, wait, does it say on your box floor puzzle? Uh, hang on. Let me get this to lay back flat. Yes, three D floor puzzle. So that kid, where is, is he? If that thing is on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> is he buried in the floor? I yeah. Looks like he's got it on a table. He cheated. It's a huge table though for him to put yeah. it on. So that is a rose art puzzle. 
which yes. I had no idea until I until I saw it and started looking for it. All right. And it's uh so that's Lego that's an official Lego licensed product by another company. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I gotta ask you this, Joey. Okay. So Cyril found this for you. Do you have um those other sets that are on the play set? Uh let's see. It's I I have Fort Legorado. Um is that part is of Fort Legorado? Well, I don't think the general store is, right? So there's a picture of Fort Legorado up here, but this these sets are not part of Fort Legorado. Where are the other one? That one there. But I do have some of these sets, yeah. Okay. I wanted you to uh reenact the picture. I will do the best I can, <laughs> yes. I will try to reenact the picture. You, you, what kind of shirt's he wearing? I can't tell. It looks like a green green button up shirt, long sleeve. Oh, it's shirt. not not plaid. It's just no, it's, it's not plaid. <laughs> but I think in the other box, yeah, it's the same picture on the other box. Yeah. Um, so but that picture is so cool. I thought that would look great framed. Yeah. Now that's, the, that's not the placemat. That's the other side, right? That's the other side of the placemat. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. So the one you have is a space one, right? Yeah. yeah. So I have, and I only have one box, and it's the version of the box with the white on the. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it's Explorians. It's Explorians. So now I have the 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 one. And the two. <laughs> and then he's got his exploring sets. Yeah. Okay. And he's got a V-neck sweater. He does. <laughs> You'll have a harder time getting that I'm going to have a man. very hard time doing this one. I got to yeah. find something like this. I don't want to yeah. buy something just like that just for the video. Okay. It, it doesn't uh, have the phone Send it to shirt. Send it to Jabbo. <laughs> yeah. If anybody, if anybody's got a V-neck sweater yeah. or shirt. Yeah. In blue, it looks like it's blue. It's got a blue trim here. It might be black with some blue. Oh, look at that! Look at the sleeve. Oh, oh man, this that is eighties. If there ever eighties preppy, if I ever saw it. So what I cut my hair ones? like this too. <laughs> What's left of my hair? What other themes would they have been? I don't know. This 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 is a late nineties theme, I think. Oh, is it that late? It's Explorians. What year did this come out? Oh, I couldn't find on. it on the box. Ninety seven. Yeah, this is 1997 when mine came out. Yours would have had to be late 90s too to have Western on it, I think. Well, let me look at it again. I but I'll, the thing is, going. I only have two Explorian sets, and they're two of the small ones. And I think he's got... 97, yes. No, that's the big Explorian set on the back picture. I got to try to figure out... I got that set right there. But I got to try to figure out these other sets because I want to, yeah, I want to do this picture. Uh, and I'll try to do the Western one. So okay. how many, I wonder I if there the was Western. any, are there any other puzzles available? Or, or were there any other puzzles? Um, well, let me That's look at That's a good question. Uh, we could look up Rose Art. I'm working on it. I know they, did, I have the Fabuland puzzle. I don't, I think, uh, I think one of those was Rose Art. Maybe it was something else. Puzzle. And I don't know if Rose Art searches as one word or two sometimes. Yeah, well, it's, I'm, I'm not finding anything on Brick Set. I'm not. Uh, yeah, I tried. Really? I tried Puzzle and I tried Rose Art. Let me just try the word Rose. And that's not helping. <laughs> oh, you know what? Am I looking at? No, I got all. Oh, there is a there is okay. a Wild West. I'm looking. There's a the space puzzle. 3D puzzle. That's. So what do you What do you guys find in it, and where? I'm on um, eBay, and I just put in Rose oh. Art Lego. Okay, that's one way. There's another one that's. There's this, a, it's there's the a, same picture, but a different picture too. There's a Wild West stick and lift. Oh, there's a bunch of them. If you yeah, go to eBay, yeah. there's a bunch of. There's a city one. What racing series? Well, well, it's racing. Hang on, let me. And it's cheap. Well, they're not. Yeah, they're Hang not on, plastic. Share. So, share, share, present, share screen. Look at that one. 
Now that one looks more. Well, it looks like just a play mat, but with the with the Lego buildings on it. But it says it's a two in one floor puzzle. It doesn't yeah, say a three D floor puzzle though. Right, yeah. it's front and back. Wow, fifteen bucks, thirteen dollars shipping to Indiana. Puzzles to racing. Nineteen ninety six. So I'm looking. Is the thing eh, the puzzle does have some more in a box list, fifty pieces, and their count is there shipping. But there's no box or nothing, right? The box does have. I don't know. It does say it have. It's it has some wear. Yeah. Oh, I hate it when people list something on eBay and they put a picture of the box, but they don't have the box. Yeah. <laughs> does this helmet look a little? That piece it looks a little worn. It does, doesn't it? Fifteen bucks. How much was it? Oh, maybe thirty. Maybe thirty bucks. By the time you get it shipped. Mm. Well, what uh, what else was there? <laughs> uh, there was another space there's one. The, there's the one Earl was talking about. Look at this one. Yeah, sticky that there. one. See the, the oh, one. those are sticky things, aren't they? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, a hundred and thirty dollars. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that one. He's oh. proud of that one. Yeah. <laughs> we get 15% off with code. <laughs> there's another, there's the that one again. Here, this is your Explorian one here, isn't it? Yeah. So there there is a racer's game and it has actual Lego it, cars that you built. Well, what's that one there? See, that's a different space one. It's the same picture on the set insert, but the other one's different. That one's 3D. Oh, it it's 3D. got the foam then, probably. Yeah. Oh, it's got the mountain. Yeah. yeah. It's got that little mountain right there. Toys not included. <laughs> what about the child? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's kind of cool, too, isn't it? Wow. Let's see. Add to watch list. That's $42. Um, yeah, that's getting up there a little bit. but. So there was another one. Go up above that one. There was another one right above it. This one? Yeah, what is that? It's a what's wrong with it. I think is it's it a jigsaw puzzle. puzzle? Yeah. Oh, it's a little puzzle. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah, not, that's very not good. Too interesting. Go back, go back and go down a couple. Okay. Right there. The one that says uh, the, what's wrong with it? This the one? one? The, the one right above it. What is that? The, it's a game. Oh, that's the freestyle, yeah. No, that's not it. That's not it. No, yeah. that's not, there's one on there that is uh it's like a race game, but it has actual Lego pieces in it to build the cars. Okay, well let it's me Lego Racers Super Speedway board game. You know, <clears throat> Earl may have um <gasps> internet that glitches, but he sure can find this stuff fast. Ain't no doubt. <laughs> Look at that one. 200 piece shape puzzle. Look at look for the Lego racers. Lego racers puzzle. No, oh my gosh, racers. look at all these eBay is opening up new tabs every time I click on something. Lego oh. racer super speedway board game. Racers. It has like puzzle pieces to build the board, the race board. What'd you say? Lego racers speed speedway. I think I own this Lego one that racers. you're talking about. Lego I never Racer opened it. Speedway. Put, uh, yeah, I've seen. Yes, I, I actually may have this one. See that one? If you, it has Lego pieces in it to build those cars. Yeah. Well, that one doesn't. But hmm. yeah, the, you have the 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 cardboard for the the game board. Yeah. See, and that then you one. have le Lego pieces to build your cars. Yeah. This. Yeah, okay. I I so think I actually have a set have number. It's not a technical three, three one, one, one four. Yeah, three one three one four. Hundred bricks included. I think I, I may have this one. <laughs> <laughs> I know I've seen it. Here, let me close the thirty tabs that eBay has opened for me. They Thank really you want you to buy. Yeah, this is okay. Let's let's. This is this aggravates me on eBay. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna hit customize. And I'm going to say same tab, 
and I'm going to apply changes. And that'll well, you last do that all the time about 20 minutes, and then it'll then it'll revert back yeah. to new tab. And yeah. it doesn't seem to matter which browser I'm using. This is Edge. It seems to do it in Chrome. It just, so eBay's treating you like whatnot treats me on YouTube. <laughs> if if it, I literally only get whatnot ad, ads, <laughs> and I block every one of them, and they keep sending me the ads. They keep coming more and more. I huh? say, I, in fact, one of them I can see it. Had, I disliked it because it was actually somebody's video. Right, that, that was the ad, and you, I can see the dislike still there. <laughs> And it, re re it showed me the same ad again. Oh, that I, I, I need to make a video about disliking it. You should, yeah. You should make a video. But I don't know why they, they do stuff like that. You customize it, and then they change it on you. Well, uh, yeah. So it's poorly. It's either poorly written software, or it's uh, it's doing something that it's not supposed to, right? Yeah, so it's either doing it on purpose or they're doing it by design. And so this point had a feature of BrickLink that I never want them to adapt because on BrickLink, it's very easy to sort by price or quantity, things like that that really matter or condition maybe even right. used or new. But um, eBay has an algorithm. Right. And you will see literally the same auction 20 times sometimes when you're scrolling. And I hate it after a while. Like I'm scrolling. I used to scroll like I would just scroll. But mm -hmm. if you use if you go by best match, you'll see the same. Yeah, and even if you sort by newest ending, they'll show yeah, you. Yeah, that's same. what I do. I do. I always sort by newest listed or ending soonest. I never yeah. look at best match. Yeah. Because newest. of that. Because you'll scroll down and you'll be like fifteen or twenty down, and then the top starts repeating again. Yeah, yeah. New newest list is what I use, but you're right. Mm -hmm. I can, I'll see it again. The same things over. So that just goes to show you how much stuff Lego is attached to that you probably don't know about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And is it rare? Probably not. <laughs> probably not. And just because it's not in a database. Right. Some of these are, some of these aren't. I I bet your Duplo is way more rare than that Rose Art. <laughs> yeah. If it wasn't rare, it somebody else would already put it in the database. Yeah. They wouldn't have waited for the a full podcast to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so um okay, before we get going too farther, I I have DL Bricks it's on Instagram. They they sent me a question for us. Uh, it says, hi, Joey. Love the YouTube channel and the a podcast. I suspect this has been discussed many times in the past, but I've never, I but I've never seen it. And I thought it was a pretty good question. Are BrickLink sellers interested in seeing what their customers create with the parts they've purchased? I would say yes. I, you know, I would... I usually question it when I, you know, I get an order. So I got this guy ordered a bunch of blue. What were they color? What, light blue colors. And I ended up knowing what he, he was building a bunch of, uh, uh, Oh no. Uh, Wally, not Wally. Oh, Jason, help me. <laughs> the vignettes that he does for, uh, oh, Oswald. Oswald. Oh, yeah. sorry, Jason. <laughs> But he bought, you know, he bought a bunch of the same color bricks and, yeah. you know, for his Oswald. But, yeah, I always kind of. Well, I, I think it's interesting that Jabo sometimes will say, I know what you're building by the parts that they're. <laughs> yeah, that's, I don't want to creep people out if I don't know them. But it, right. But yeah, that's Cafe Corner. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You, if you go to a store and you buy all the really rare parts from a set and it's like, <laughs> You yeah. got to know what's going mm -hmm. on there. <laughs> the thing that I find interesting is when I get a couple of orders close together that order mm -hmm. a lot of the same parts, but I can't figure out what it's from. And I'm like, is this like a rebrickable mock? Yeah. That people are doing. Is it one of the brick link things? Brick link mocks somebody's buying. Right. Um, and then, yeah, but yeah, sometimes if it's a set, the old set, especially a retired set, they're trying to piece together, but, it is neat sometimes to see the things that people are building that are custom, that yeah, it's yeah. their own thing. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, I guess our answer is yes. We like it. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, and so um, it kind of ties in with the thing I put on there about. Yeah. Uh, so you did a video on the San Diego Comic Con set. Yes. Right. The Indiana Jones one. The Indiana Jones one. Yes. All right. Which so is a while back, I bought the stickers. Okay. Which were the stickers from one of the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull sets. So yeah, not a, right. not I, rare. Did you buy that while we were on the podcast when Joe when Joey was talking about it? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get the stickers because there weren't many people selling the stickers left. I just know the price is just gonna keep going up. Yeah. 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 I was gonna say they're getting valuable. Yeah. 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 So but, I was like, worst case, I got the stickers now. Right. And so I set those to the side and I said, oh, it doesn't look like there's too many rare parts, many figures I need to get. So I, I created a wanted list for that. But I've not I've not gone through my own store to get those parts. Well, yesterday or the day before yesterday, I was picking an order and I was like, "Uh oh, <laughs> these parts look familiar. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my goodness. These are all parts to that San Diego comic. And that, it possible there's another set that uses a lot of the same parts but pretty <laughs> sure it was this <laughs> was it the rock pieces i didn't or have the, i didn't have the rock pieces okay but i had you know some of the dark green okay. and there were some of the parts he bought that he bought the rest of them that i had so yeah i was gonna say some of the dark green jeep pieces are yeah. a little rare yeah they're not impossible yeah. to get but they're a little rare yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. So I immediately, after I did his order, packed it, I went and took my list and got every part out of my store that went to that set that I could, so I could start piecing it together. So yeah, it's, I need a, the rock pieces, the flat slope piece, yeah. which I know I can get that one somewhere. And then yeah. the, uh, so, some of the dark green panels. Yeah. I gotta get, and then the minifigures. And I know I can get those oh, minifigures for like four or $5. Outside of Fabuland sets, how many sets are you parting together like that right now? Because I know you're always working on something. <laughs> I got so I'm almost done with Fabuland. Right. I'm waiting. I actually got orders that I'm like, what's taking these orders so long? <laughs> waiting on them to come in. But then there's about five Legoland sets that I need to finish piecing together. And then I'll have the whole Legoland theme. Wow. Um, and wow. once I get done, so uh, Geology Joe hit me up. He <laughs> he's like, I heard you heard you say something about classic space, and I'm like, Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I already got a lot of classic space sets, a lot of smaller ones, but right. I've thought about just making sure I don't miss the opportunity to get some of them. So that may be something I'll work on. There's some model team sets that I'm trying to piece together. Um. Then there's some mocks that I'm so I got a lot of wanted lists with things that I need to build. So when I go to my my wanted list and I search my store, it's yeah, it's a lot of pages apart. Yeah. So you know that's the fun of collecting. Yeah, that is the fun of collecting. I right. think there's more fun in doing it that way. Too. Yeah, whether right. you're piecing a set together or you're collecting a group of figures, you know yeah. that the technic figures or when I do Iron Man. Right. Yeah. That's the fun of collecting is just searching and picking them off. And yeah. Well, it, it, you're right. It is absolutely fun, but we are kind of our, our own enemy here because things like, like that set of instructions, which is kind of hard to get. Those are the ones you just got in it. Yeah. I got, I literally got, just got that one. Uh, right. You just had some. Yeah. Off. So now it's like, I need to find, cause I have some of these parts somewhere. So, yeah. When you mentioned that, I thought, oh, no, I got to get on that because now yeah. Jabbo said something. So now the parts are going to go up. So whatever parts <laughs> oh, are going to add. Yeah, that, that, as, right. a, as a person that's on social media regularly, that's one thing I always yeah. think about. It's like, I if I make a video, I better make sure this video is posting long after I've ordered the parts. parts <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> it doesn't hurt if I post a video. It's not near as a, yeah. uh, an effect as at Briggs are does. Hey, did, so did you see uh, on the? We got it. We we we're this far in. We haven't made a breaking news reference other than uh, the. Uh, um, we're forgetting we get the, 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 the news. Yeah. So, 
uh, Alex was telling the story where Jimmy, his son, came in and was like, who's that guy? Yeah. That- <laughs> yeah. That, that's that's cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that made my day because I was just like, oh, he. And then I was like, wait, <laughs> he thought the figures were cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like Alex has got could probably got one hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of Lego in the basement. Yeah, so what, Dad? You know those little Technic figures? That guy's cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Funny. Oh, where are we at? Ah, uh, we're we've kind of worked oh, both oh, ends towards the okay, middle. Okay, so so <laughs> this came out a few weeks back, but now it's getting ready to, to release an eight and one brick headset. I mean, what are we doing? <laughs> Lego used to be a two and one, then now creators are three and one, an eight and one. So if you want all eight brick heads, you have to buy eight sets. Yeah, hang on. I'll get the picture over here. What's the what's oh, the, well, number? There was the 12 in one? 40748. And then there was the uh the, the you know which one has the most? What's no what set what Lego set has the most variety of builds? It's gotta be that that train model kit thing. Yeah, Lego Factory train. Yeah. Oh so, yeah, oh, Batman eight and one. So I yeah. am waiting. I am I'm throwing this out there to Alex. Alex, we are waiting for your rant, your official rant on this set. Eight and one. Why not just make the eight brick heads? Yeah. But didn't they? Wait a minute. If you look at the back of this box, am I reading this right? Aren't these the pre existing eight brick heads? No. 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 I've never seen the, any of these. The parts. Oh, well, then why that... do they all have numbers? One's they... one and 251 and two. Well, I guess they are all sequenced, aren't they? Wait a minute. Why, how do they have a number one? That's why I'm asking. I because I just I didn't do any research on this. I just looked at that. Okay, thought, well, so look are... up the Lego movie Batman Brickheads. Can you from search? From my that? understanding, you can, yeah. you can build any one of those eight from that box. That's... and you'll have extra parts. But like you can't build all a, a, any build two of them at one time. time. Right. You see what I'm typing? Okay. Lego movie Batman Brickheads. That didn't work. That. Yeah, okay. So there's that one. So what number is that? Four one. one. That's number one. Yeah. Four one five eight five. Yeah, number one. So how is that? But it's not gonna have that tile. I wouldn't think. Is it? Let me see here. There's more images because yeah, there's what I was looking for. Is that not the same image? Is that not the same set as this one down here? Yeah. So are any of these other ones? These are high numbers. Well, it looks like there's a whole series up. So yeah, maybe not. Maybe because where does it start at? So this is a re-release. Two forty-five. Yeah, but see, they don't have they don't have the the classic Batman available yet. Bronze Age. Let me look up Bronze Age Batman. Away, do I hear Milo? No, it's Charlie. Did I open oh. that board? Bronze <laughs> Age Batman tag. I let him in, see if he makes too much noise. I'm home alone, except for him. So he, he's he's scared. Okay, so see, there's there that is. Batman with this set and, and the Joker. Uh, there he is. Is that him? That's the new one. That's the new that's one. one we were just looking at. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. The okay. Parts. Not, if you build not, that set, that's all the extra parts you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it looked like he came with. He came in a two pack. In a two pack. It, unfortunately, that's. That's the, the Comic Con set. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, no, no. Go back and. Hello. Hey, Charlie. <laughs> Is this one different though? I don't know. That one versus. I think the color is different. This one. Oh my! Is a gray different? The gray looks a little darker on the well box, but that this might is just a be horrible the picture. Yeah, yeah, that might just be the image. All right, I'm gonna look that one up. Four one four nine one. It's gonna have to be light bluish gray, right? Four one four nine one. 
<clears throat> so maybe maybe you're you're right. I didn't think they all were. It is white bluish gray. So they're re-releasing. That's a Comic Con Batman. Wow. That's gonna get that's gonna get interesting. Oh no. Well I just <laughs> I just turned Jabo on to this set. Maybe he's got to buy eight of them. <laughs> well, the thing is there's the tile in the Comic Con sets. Let me look yeah, surely they wouldn't have done. Oh, you're looking at yeah. Yeah, the oh, San Diego that's Comic Con tile that you're not going to be able to get. There we go. <laughs> Why does it keep saying not found? What am I doing wrong? Four one four nine. Because you're looking in your store. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jabba. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee you, I do not have it in my store. <laughs> ah, holding back on us, Joey. <laughs> you had all these. Yeah, I had them all. Yeah, so that yeah, tile's not going to be. That tile. Yeah, so that tile ought to be. That's going to be the only exclusive thing, probably. None of them for sale. None yeah, for sale. Oh, but it's in two sets. How'd that happen? Oh, okay. okay. And, and, and the Superman, and Superman, one yep, Woman. Okay. So this Batman set is going to this eight and one. Some people are going to get mad, and some people are going to be happy. So and... think about this: if you go to Lego, the limit's five, but I want to <laughs> buy eight. <laughs> nice. So the question is: Can you? Do you have to buy eight sets to build all eight of them? It's three hundred and twenty-five pieces. I think you do because of some of the internal parts. Well, like the base plate. For, right. for sure. Oh, yeah. I know what you're saying. Like the the the, the brain. brain. Yeah. The, Usually it's on, pink brain. not on top. Prick, right. Prick. right. Yeah. The, oh yeah. One brain. pink brain. Yep. I mean, I guess it's a neat idea, but to have to buy all. So this is what I would do. Hopefully yeah, they'll go on sale. Right. Buy eight of them, and then put all the extra part. Build the, each of the figures, and then put the extra parts in my store. <laughs> right, but you can only buy five. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I just when I saw that eight and one, I was just it just that's what? it seems like a large amount, doesn't it? So yeah. we we need to get Alex ranting on this because yeah, well, I love it when Alex gets sidetracked and then like <laughs> about eight or ten minutes later, he's like, "Wait, what were we talking about?" <laughs> Why did I start? Yeah. Why did I go off on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and I, I understand like with some multi in one sets, it makes sense. Like some of the basic sets, uh -huh. but I mean, even, the even the, the, one. the brick heads are like build it and put it on a shelf, right? So, yeah, it's a display not build piece. it and have all these parts sitting there. Yeah, you know, like yeah, the creator three of ones. You build the one vehicle or the building. You, as a kid, you're gonna play with it for a little while, and it's like, oh, now I have a second option or a third option. Yeah, people are gonna just build these and display them. They're not gonna, they're not gonna take them apart. Yeah. And, yeah. It's either a bad idea or a brilliant idea, though. Yeah, and I ain't That's figured true. it out. That's true. <laughs> yeah, because you know, Batman collectors, they might want to buy eight of them so they can mm -hmm. build all eight. But if I wanted all eight of them, I would definitely just buy eight and put the parts in the store. Sure, yeah. yeah. I did that with my Beetle set. So I bought four of the Beetle mosaics and put the extra parts in the store. I I, I bought, what was it? Did it take three or four to do the, the Iron Man? Yeah, and then you're going to have a lot of leftover parts. Right. I ended up putting all the parts in the store because yeah. Heather started it. And she oh. got about <laughs> three panels in. And then it set for several months. Oh. And I finally said, okay, all the parts that you haven't put on there, I'm putting in the store. So yeah. <laughs> then she got mad at me. <laughs> like, I was building that. No, you were not. You were complaining the whole did you, time. You did you it. tell her about it or did you just not do until it? After I put them in the store. And then you she, shouldn't then she have told her it. nothing. And then like three months later when she said, Hey, where did Iron Man sit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So are we too hard on the Romeoville workers? Are they just underpaid? Under you could change my perspective on it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean that's. So I got a I got a uh, comment on one of the video, and it was not, it was not on the podcast. It was on one of my regular videos. So it was a Smashbox video. It, it says a coworker used to 
work at the warehouse. He says it's super secure, which I can attest to. Uh, it's a super secure building, and they are very strict about what goes in and out. Uh, I doubt that it would be easily accessible. It is not. Uh, I never asked him about it. Uh, he did say that it's a mad rush in there to get orders out. Likely people, people are living are literally, literally running from place to place. Uh, I guess they get premium for shipping more orders per day. Um, yeah, I'm sure that's how the paper ended up in your box. Yeah, I had a little note. That was the video that it was on. I had a little note that somebody had written something on. So, yeah, we're pretty hard on Romeoville. And I think well, I know I, I do. I, I forget their people. I think some of the some of the things you get hard on them for is is common sense stuff. You know, like if you put boxes in a box and the box is this big, and you have a small box, it's like common sense says grab a smaller box. Or right. if you put boxes in the box and you put paper to protect it from getting crushed, mm -hmm. common sense is don't crush it with the paper with your hands before you close the box. Yeah, and I think that's what's happening a lot. That's why you get the perfectly pristine box. And then the smash sets. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. I, and it's not just Romeoville. It's a no, lot of different not. places. I, I got a pack, two packages from Target from the same order in two different boxes. The one box had the big set full of air. <laughs> like it was just, they literally took a over, the box was four times the thickness of the set. And they just put the set in there, sealed it up. Nothing else in the box. It made it okay. The other box had two smaller sets that could have fit in the other box. Right. <laughs> Which would have probably they, destroyed them all if you, they had really done that. Well, they destroyed them anyway because they put yeah. they put the two boxes on the end and put the air bubbles in the middle. And it was like Earl said. They put, crammed it in there so it bent the boxes in. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then they take it But the out. worst is the, the boxes in the padded envelopes from Amazon. Oh, they, <laughs> I mean, like, that's just totally not caring right there. Yeah. That, yeah. And I have a feeling at Amazon warehouse is, is yeah, so, I mean, super it's, crazy. I don't know why people sell. Well, I do know why they do it, but there's people that send their Lego sets to Amazon. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you know? I know this stuff's going to happen to your stuff. I don't trust anybody. Do yeah. you think people like us are sending their things to Amazon or it's people who no. have just bought a, a skid of something and here's the no, stuff. No, Scott's toy sends his stuff Does to Amazon really? to be shipped and then he gets oh, returns yeah, yeah. of yeah, boxes right. of rocks and stuff. I would not do it. And then, but no. you get like three times the, the, the worth of a set. You like They sell stuff for crazy amounts. Yeah. Hmm. But I, I mean, you send them a five hundred dollars set, and then they put it in a bubble mailer. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> but then, it, so who eats that return though when they return a the, box? The, the, buy, the seller, the seller does. Not Amazon. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. And Amazon's return policy is so simple. No, they take anything. They take yep. anything back. No questions asked, which is great for the for the buyer. Sure. So these these Chinese companies, they the stuff's so expensive to ship back that they just pick somebody's address at random. It's cheaper for them to just lose the product. I've <laughs> seen I've seen those news stories where there's there was a yeah. out in Montana or something. It yeah. was like one address that they and they were the yard was just covered. Nobody lived there, yeah, and the yard wow. was just covered in like Amazon return packages. Yeah, because they just like we're just dumping them there, and it you know it became a problem. He, <laughs> Charlie keeps the meow and just you know he sounds like he's a little lonely. Kid. He, oh, he acts like he's all alpha male and all that, but he uh he don't like being alone. <laughs> <laughs> he wants me to take him out on the porch. So we get a, I don't know if you guys get it all the time, but I get a Lowe's commercial. A lot of YouTube videos will have a Lowe's commercial in it. Maybe it's because I watch. I would take a Lowe's commercial at this point. Would you? <laughs> well, watch a lot of uh, home improvement videos. I, I tend to watch several channels that I've, I'm subscribed to that are just people working on their homes. You know, whatever. Uh -huh. so it, sometimes it's just a distraction of 
you're not really paying attention. It's just something going on. Around. I mean, maybe I should listen to the podcast and sort parts. I don't know. But at any rate, the way they run the ad, it's Milo's Rewards. And they say it. Milo's oh, Rewards. Milo's Rewards. Milo's That's Rewards. What that and I always look up and I think, wow, what's Milo getting rewarded for now? <laughs> <laughs> now that I understand what you're saying. Yeah, now. when you said that, I... How do I? Get, how can I get these ads? Because I don't know how. <laughs> I'm getting whatnot ads. It's oh. like I went through the. Yeah, I, I don't get the rocket money one, but I do now. I get whatnot, but I don't get them every one like you do. I, I no, it was. I I literally would hit the. Uh, you can click on the three dots and you can go block ad, and you said you should stop seeing ads from this advertiser. Next one, whatnot. Whatnot. Yeah. I'm, I'm like. What would you want the rocket money? Rocket. I, mean, money I think I'd stuff? take the rocket money ones over whatnot <laughs> because they're they're so bad. I know. Uh, uh, yeah, we're going to go on uh, this store here. I got this hot card I want to get. Well, they didn't have it. We're going to go to whatnot. Oh yeah, there it is. I'm like, no, it's not. Yeah. I can go type Lego train right now. It's not there. Right. <laughs> Stop telling me stuff's on whatnot. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> that guy probably emailed me tomorrow. Hey, you want to do sponsorship? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I, I tell you what, I'll sponsor whatnot if it means I'll stop getting the ads. <laughs> Let me make a whatnot ad. Can I make a whatnot ad? So, what do you have on here about brick set and the Jaws? You got the Jaws, the new Jaws set, and you have brick set. Well, that's just because it was the brick set link. Okay, all right. There, there's a little controversy over it. I didn't know if we wanted to talk about it or not. The I, uh, I don't mind talking about it. Right. Okay. Pull up the picture. <laughs> I I'm working two one that, three five. That was like I don't mind talking about it, but I don't mind ranting about something. <laughs> so okay, here we go. Here's the picture. I need it. I need Jimmy to be my director. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's amazing how much time it takes me to to do that, and it won't scroll if I don't scroll over here. So there's the set, and I guess the oh, I don't. All I have is the flat Earth pictures pulled up. I don't have the pictures. Oh, of the, okay. Sorry. I guess, and I, and I don't know the truth to the, any of this, so I don't. You know, there was just some Instagram post. Basically, people saying ban it, don't go, don't buy it because it's a stolen set. I guess it was a picture of something totally different. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's, but, and it's like you're, it doesn't look, look anything like this. Well, I think they were trying to say that they came up with it first. Uh, what year were they born? <laughs> it's a, that's that, that's the question. I, I was like, I wanted to leave a snarky comment, and I said it probably get deleted. I'm like, what year were you born? It probably is like 1984. I'm like, this movie came out in 1975. Right. Mm -hmm. You didn't create the Orca. No. Or Jaws. That belongs to Steven Spielberg or whoever. Right. <laughs> yeah. And, and the design of this boat, even if these two people never saw each other's stuff, yeah. the design of this boat is going to be very similar. And they yeah. used their minifig scale, so they're very close. I can't say that one guy took it from the other. I don't know. Well, Whatever. the other one they showed the shark like it was coming. It was under the water. Yeah, the shark was a different, a different. Yeah, they, I think the boat was bigger, and they only showed the fin, right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this to me it looks a little small, and it looks a lot better like that as a display model than it does with the shark on the pedestal. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If I had to cho choose between the two, the guy that's whining, I will take this one because yeah, the yeah, whining guy didn't look as good as this one. Yeah. <laughs> We're, we're not afraid to let our opinions be known on the April podcast. <laughs> but yeah, if you you if you're designing your your submission off of a pre-existing IP or exactly. a landmark, it's yes. gonna look like somebody else's. <laughs> exactly. You're and it's like a... I look at the, I, I'm in the Thomas the Tank Engine community apparently. And like, there's a ton of people that have made Lego mocks based on right. Thomas the Tank Engine. Guess what they look like? Thomas the Tank. Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh man, I thought they looked like Fred the Flyer. 
<laughs> yeah. It's yeah, it is so hard to say that one was stolen from the other because it's it come on, it's it's an iconic boat. We all know what yeah. it looks like. I don't know. This is why we can't have anything good. Yeah, this, this is why we can't anything nice. This will be a uh, hope if it hits a, a sale, I might get it. If not, is it? I was I, gonna say, is it released now? It's obviously I haven't checked for my one, in, but I have not bought it yet. Is it out? It, will it be out by the time this year? It's surely uh, this will be one of these thirty percent off August. ones one day. Is this an August the first? Is it? Yeah. Oh August. yeah, right here it says not yet released. Oh no, that's yeah. not yet rated. Where is? I think it's August. I thought it was August first. Your release. Usually this says not released yet if it's anyway. anyway. Yeah. I guess I could look on Lego.com and see. 21350. Let's do that. Do do 21350. You guys seeing? Yep, you're seeing what I'm seeing. Coming soon, August 6th. There you go. 149.99. How many? That's a little steep, it seems like. <laughs> uh, 14, 1,500 pieces, 1,497. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it probably is a little steep. But... So, I got a box today. By the time this video posts, my video will have posted, I guess. But it was heavy. Okay. And it was, you know, one of my Lego.com orders. I thought it was one of the BrickLink designer program things had finally come. Okay. I still, I still get the emails that they're out of stock. They've, they've charged me for mine. They some haven't of them. charged me for mine. I've gotten another. I've gotten the day that they were available or supposed to be. I yeah. got the email they were out of stock, and it still shows out of stock on me. I've gotten okay. two emails. I think a couple of mine have shipped, and I thought that's what this was one because the box was heavy. It was just the tuxedo cat. <laughs> I was like. Huh, this is a heavy set. It's a hundred dollars. It's seventeen hundred pieces. Wow. Wow. It's heavy. Wow. <laughs> so it's not just like a bunch of little parts. Right. I mean, I'm sure there are a lot of little parts, but I'm like an instruction manual is probably heavy, but it's like you compare that to the Jaws set, oh, which is right. the license IP, fifteen hundred pieces, a hundred and fifty dollars versus seventeen hundred and eighty something pieces for a hundred dollars. Have you wonder, noticed that some of the box bloat is kind of going away a little bit? Oh, yeah. I ran about that today in another video as Do well. You? Yes. I bought a, th a six in one set. Is this the video? Oh, five, you, dropped out, you dropped two new videos today, didn't you? Yeah. So well, the, the, uh, it wasn't one of those two. It might not be one y'all seen. Yeah. I watched the two today. Oh, so this is, uh, it's the video, if you happen to watch it later, I, I filmed, I I did the whole video, the unboxing, I did not turn the camera on. Oh, no. So I had audio, but no video. <laughs> and I was like, and it was one of these, I just thought it was going to be a quick haul, you know? All right. And then I got to the, 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 the poly bag box set, 66777. It's five poly bags in one box. Oh, and I okay. Thought, it was kind of a small box for five poly bags. They're like, yeah, wadded yeah. up and put in the box. <laughs> and like, there's no way you can put them in the box without scrunching them up. Does it? Well, does it look like? I wonder if it was machine done or if somebody. That's the question I think I asked myself, and I don't know if it was in the part that I di didn't record or the part that I did. I can't. I think I said that. It's like so pull that up, is, that, is that a newer? Is that a new set? A newer? Yeah, uh, I think it. Well, I just so Target had the Target Circle sales where stuff a lot of stuff was thirty percent off. Uh huh. Um, and it was one of those. What What's the set? It is six six seven seven seven. Six six seven seven seven. It's one of those numbers. It's us, oh, it's not in the database. It's not on Lego. <laughs> go to. Can you go to Target.com? It might not be sold out now. I don't know. See, it's Circle Week. Oh, it's still Circle Week at the time of this. It'll be over by the time this video posts. <laughs> there it is. Oh, ah, that's kind of cool. Uh, it's price has gone up. 
Uh, so, 1749 with deals and targets. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. I have the circle. I'm so probably yeah. not logged. Yeah, I'm I not got signed 1749. Yet. So it's it's those all those poly bays. And see, I wanted the vintage car ones, not the right. vintage the uh, the 90 years of cars. Oh, yeah. yeah it says four cars to the right. I didn't have that one. I never saw it in stores. Huh. But but yeah, it's, it's in that little box, and they're all crammed in there. <laughs> Crap, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, that's that's kind of disappointing they crammed them all in there. I think one of the things that got left out of my rant that will be published is that I, I started talking about graded boxes again. <laughs> <laughs> you just talked about that a couple of weeks ago. I talk about all the time. I'm like yeah. I'm an old man now, I talk about the same stuff over and over. So <laughs> I just got caught up yesterday morning to all your to all your videos because you know i'm recording the snippet of your oh. shirt whatever you say oh okay whatever you oh. say about your shirt so i was way behind i was weeks behind first brick world and then work just decided to explore. did i have a video where i didn't say anything about my shirt there's been a couple times you've done that okay yeah. i thought I, sometimes i forget yeah there's i just sometimes I do the best i can in, sometimes you lay it in right at the end to make you yep. joey work well, I was going to say, sometimes he says, look, I got it right at the beginning for Joey. Then he says, I waited to the end for Joey. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not going to watch the whole video yeah. anyway. So yeah. are you done with your hectic work schedule? Uh, my hectic work schedule was based on other people taking vacation. So oh. uh, that it's just, well, there's four of us and we cover each other. And when, so what happened is, is I took a set of days to go to Brick World. And that uh, a set of days is seven days. And because of the way our schedule is set up, that gets me 13 days off. And one of the other people, she noticed that. And she said, she said, did you just get 13 days off for seven days? I said, uh-huh. So guess <laughs> what I did the next week? <laughs> I had to cover her. For oh. That, well, I don't have to cover the whole seven days, but it, it did. I ended up having seven days because then somebody else took off. So that it was like, oh, wow, you guys... I so guess you, really you didn't like that I took the wheel. So is that overtime or are you salary? Over no, I'm hourly. I punch okay. a clock. Yeah. Well, that's so good. It, <laughs> yeah, I can go that's buy some good. more Lego now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So did, did 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 you get your big orders? Were how yes. was that getting those big orders? Oh, from? that was that was rough. I mean, um, yeah, that was getting up at four because I was on midnights. Um, so I was working from midnight to noon. Oh, so, goodness. right. For when all do you sleep? Seven hours. Yeah, seven days in a row is all midnight to noon. So I would get up and uh, before I'd go into work and try to catch up the store. Yeah. So, oh, speaking of the store, I had a Jacob moment. So I come home the other day and Dakota was here. Well, tell him Dakota. <laughs> and he had built. He had built a tank thing, and I was like, "Oh, that is really cool!" And you know, he's showing it to me and everything. He said, "I use some of your parts in the drawer," and I thought he meant <laughs> this thing here. <laughs> yeah, you can't this thing right behind me. Oh, and I no. walked over to it. We we're talking about it and stuff, and I said, "You took the parts out of this because there's just random parts in there and stuff." And he goes, "No, out of the drawers." And I'm like, "Which drawers?" Oh no! Yeah, he pulled a drawer out because when we're building, if he's building something, whatever, and he'll. And he, he knows all these parts exist. Yeah. And he'll say, well, we need a whatever, a one by this, a two by that, and gray. Or, well, let me look at a store. Yeah. So I'll go to the computer and look it up. And I'll say, yeah, we got them. So I'll pull them out. So he's seen me do it. But he doesn't understand that I'm taking them out of the computer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I told him, I said, okay, you can't do that. But if you do, <laughs> leave them on the desk right here so I know. When I came home yesterday, there were two drawers sitting there waiting for me. <laughs> <laughs> and I counted all the parts of the drawers. Wow. And I asked him, I said, how are you finding the parts? He goes, I'm skip counting them. I don't know what that means, but uh, yeah, I, I think he's just going in there. Nope, that's not what I want. Nope, that's not what I want. He's randomly pulling drawers out. Yeah, then he finds something close. He's like, oh, that's good. Because he's not matching colors. His, his tank that he built was yellow and blue yeah. and gray. But it looks He's a real good. Lego builder then. Yeah. Yes. That's, so, that's how I grew up doing it. So, Jawa, y'all were talking about sets you never completed. You left out the most obvious one. The sea cow. <laughs> well, Never we did. 
But I, we did finish it. You did? Yes. It was, I think, yes, yes. I finished the sea cow. What, it took you, what, two years? It was a long time. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it was two years, but it was, yeah, it was a really long time. I've, it, but I forgot about it, yeah, because that's when we started and just lost interest in in the middle of it. I didn't think you ever finished that. No, they never, yep. Yeah. Mayo, I you're gonna finish have to it. correct me, Mayo. I, I probably got it. Ever fixed. <laughs> well, let, let's see if I got proof. The, <laughs> I've run into the problem lately. I said, "Oh yeah, I did a video on that," and I'm like, "I didn't." So let's <laughs> see. I'm gonna see if I did a video on the sea cow. Oh yeah, it's it's got two videos. Ooh, I think. Uh, so I did a video on it after, after I built it, and then I think it's one of the ones we threw in the water. I did a will it float video with it. I think. No, it's the Black Seas Bear. Yeah, and Middle Bear Sea Cow. And then that's when I took it apart. Oh, so yeah, I, I didn't. I forgot all about that. Me too. Well, it was only Earl. How can you not remember what I did eight years ago? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I remember what you did nine years ago when you kept talking about it was the longest build in, in history. Yeah. Because you couldn't never finish it. Yeah. So that was the, um, yeah, that uh, Avengers Quinjet thing or whatever they call it. Not Quinjet, the, uh, the, the hover. Yeah. The, uh, the helicarrier. Helicarrier. That one never got finished. The Joker's Manor. And now it's like, it's like, the Joker's Manor, you know, we started building that when it first came out. Now those minifigures are worth like mm -hmm. hundreds of dollars. Yep. That set used to sit right there, and I don't know where it's at now. Hopefully mm -hmm. it's in a bag in a tub. So this is a strategy for YouTube. It's like, you know how I hear all these land members like Alex whine about, oh, if you don't get the video out early, nobody's going to watch it. So it's like, just don't do a video. Wait, like. 10 years and then open it on camera. Oh, oh look, yeah, I got this, look, this continued set. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. Just go ahead, film your video now, schedule it to upload in 10 years. Oh, like, wow. discontinued Lego set oh, unboxing. <laughs> I've actually thought about doing that, like just schedule scheduling stuff 20 years out. <laughs> I've done it now, but you or I haven't done it. I, I've I've done the same thing. I thought, yeah, that'd be kind of cool to. I have put. You have asked, like, hey, if this is such and such date, uh -huh. video, put a comment in my video right now. I've get. I'm getting. Have are you getting them? Because I yes. I put in my every time I notice you say that, I'll go to my calendar and I'll go to that date and I'll put the link to your video. And oh, say, go back and I'll comment on that video. But it, some of them are out there, so we got yeah. we got to wait, wait, while well, yeah, to wait. I got a comment uh, recently. Uh, it's somebody said it's twenty twenty four. Nice, that is awesome. So I, I, I need to. I should. I wish I had a way of organizing like what you're doing, like keeping. I don't. I don't eat. make a note that I even said it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that'd be cool. That would be cool. All right, are we? Uh, are we gonna do comments, or are we gonna talk about flat Earth? Well, you talk about flat Earth while I'm looking for the comments. Okay, well, I'll pull this picture up. This is Lego proved that the Earth is flat. Yeah. <laughs> now I tell you what, we are. Who knows what our our uh, uh, analytics are going to look like now? <laughs> we keep saying flat Earth. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have a. Oh, will we get the little warning at the? At the we video? might. <laughs> we'll get the little warning. <laughs> I don't We're know what website the, this is. The, the flat puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I guess this is a leak image I'm looking at here. It's, it's, it's somebody, a weak image of a weak set. I, I mean, a leaked image. But yes, it's oh, a I weak set. A leaked image. Yeah. The box doesn't look like it's right. It doesn't. I don't know if there's more. You know what this is? You know what this set is, huh? It's. I have no idea. It, it looks is, terrible. I think this set is the one that's based off of uh, the last Lego Masters winning winning set. <gasps> no, you they think built so? This, they built a giant airplane, mm -hmm. and they had you, you remember. And then I think this is 
based on their set. Hmm. No, really? I think, I think that's what it is. Look at those pictures. I wouldn't know. <laughs> no. Well, that jet that they built in Lego Masters, that was ridiculously big. And yeah. Duck Bricks knew what he was doing. When they just kept building it bigger and bigger like that and giant, he's like, They're, if we win, they got to make this set. <laughs> it was like, come on. Yeah. I don't know. There, didn't they do another, like a family tree thing that was kind of the same yeah. thing where well, you had you kept stuck photographs you can put on yeah. it or something? Yeah, Scroll down. I don't know. Is, there, is there, there's another picture. Scroll down. There, there's another picture. Yeah. Did yeah. you say anything about it under there? You can't. Uh, it just says German retailer leaked the picture. So there's nothing. I don't even think there's a number. If it's just on oh, yeah. together. 41838. Let me go look. Uh, where do I want to go? It won't be here. Uh, 41838. Oh, my God. It is in there. How about that? Well, so much for being a leaked picture. Yeah. we are always got the late news. We are always. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is different. What is that? Bags. <gasps> Brick set. What are you doing? I've not noticed this before. Does this set have paper bags inside the box? <laughs> if so, please add details below to help others identify them. I just think of all the paper Lego has wa wasted telling us uh, get excited right i'm not excited lego i'm not excited you you keep putting a piece of paper in my box to say get excited we're changing the bags and then it's still plastic bags just leave it plastic bags then i'll be excited <laughs> all right you find a merle <laughs> yeah i got him so uh marty bricks marty bricks says why don't you guys go to billing together well we, we do still, build together. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're waiting for our for somebody to sponsor us on an all expense. Oh, trip. there we go. Yes. All so Jason, Jason in the uh, breaking news, <laughs> you can sponsor us. Jason says we're we can join the pan guy. with. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Would yes. that be a trip to China though? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, San, San says, oh, Joey, is that brick trains? Makes so much more sense now. <laughs> uh, gears and bricks. Hey, guys, there was a model right up your alley at Brick Rodeo last week. I immediately thought of all you guys when I saw it. Definitely my favorite model of the show. Except mine, I guess. The model was a Fabuland pirate ship. I took a video of it, and it's on my channel if you care to see it. Joey, that's how you need to do when people ask about what? the dimensions tag. Who was it? Who was uh, the comment from? Gears and Bricks. Gears, Gears and Bricks. Oh, okay. okay, I need to check that out. Um, Gears and Bricks. And that's another one of those things. I, when I see those, people, a lot of times people will send me pictures of stuff like that. And I was like, oh, once again, there's an idea that you can't do because somebody already thought of it. But it, right. I, it's it's pretty neat to see the, the Fabuland theme. Um, customs of right, like you know, the Fabuland ATAT -AT Walker, <laughs> things like that. Gears and bricks. Uh, Dunkster, Dunkster's bricks, which is Duncan. Duncan. He says he loves Joey's train layout, which would be good if it was a train layout. It's a Lego City, Duncan. <laughs> and, uh, he says his railway is the railway is the best. Well, I appreciate uh, that. <laughs> Uh, J.W. Bowl, Indianapolis and other suburbs do have roundabouts, but not near as many as Carmel. And they've only been used to replace intersections that had stop signs, not lights. Everyone here says they hate them, but the road from my house to my kid's school has replaced uh, two four-way stops with roundabouts and has cut my drive time down from 10 to 15 minutes down to five. Yeah, they are really, I don't know why people hate them. I guess the people who hate them are the people who don't know how to drive. People that don't want to stop at stop signs. They don't, they don't I, understand I, what a yield sign means. I, I have, they've since they've put more of them up in our area, it's like I'm starting to see the wisdom behind them. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's usually, you got people, yeah, still don't know what to do when they come up. Yeah. Here, but, they, they stop. It's like, yeah. go. Yeah. There's nobody in it. If, go. If you yield, yeah, go. And don't stop if you're in the traffic circle. If you're already in it, that's the problem. I see people are in the traffic circle and they stop. Yeah. Uh, uh, Janet's 3094. Jabba, would you consider doing a segment or segments on your Paradisa collection, either here or on your Brixar channel? Then read the next comment uh, <laughs> from her. Or is it her? Or oh, it, it, must, it might be down. Oh, okay. They asked for. They asked both of us to do Paradisa. Oh. Well, Joey, your problem is yours is all melted together. It is. Uh, It it is. It's more of a mock display, but I I do have all the Paradisa's set boxes because I was collecting that. I think once I get done with some of these things, I could do it. Uh, You know, I I actually already did, but it's not very good. It's not like if you go back 12 years ago on my channel, Mm-hmm. There's a video with all of the Paradisa sets, and it's terrible. <laughs> so go watch it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Excavator Digger TV. I'm happy to take them fighting words to a friendly discussion <laughs> on the podcast this summer. <laughs> we got to get Mayo on here. Yeah. He wants to be on here. Uh, DL Bricks. Love me some Galaxy Squad. It's the only theme that I've ever completed, and I still have. And I still display four or five of them in the Lego room. They weren't horrible sets. They had... No, they weren't bad. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and I, I still think Galaxy Quest. Yeah. Yeah, I say that. I used to say that from time to time. Ty Nival. Scalper, in my, in my definition, is someone who buys more of a limited item to create artificial scarcity, which drives up prices of the said item. And then sell that item for the end plate at prices to make a profit. Bricklink sets is a good example of something that can be scaled. That is true. What I don't about think super trucks. <laughs> well, you're getting there. You're, yeah. you're trying to corner the market. Uh, you're getting close. Yeah. This is finally that I, I had, a, I was trying to get that where it was less than 200 that are available to me. There are almost 300. There were almost 300. But yeah, that number. Now when I go, there's only 185. Last time I looked, there were 185. Lot. Have you ever looked on Brickset to see how many people own one? Oh, no. I don't trust Brickset. <laughs> I, I mean, because people can put whatever they want on there. Yeah. There's one guy, yeah. there's two guys that literally put every set. Every set. Yeah. They, they, every, they have every single set listed that they own it. Every set. Even the the duplicates of so I'm like I can't trust bricks at Well, let's see how long it takes them to mark off the one we just added. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris Cummings, it might be a good idea going forward for the fire marshal to send into that garage sale a plant, a person that has consumed vast amounts of refried beans. <laughs> uh, Brian at Battery Powered Bricks. I forgot to comment on the previous previous episode when Joey was at the convention. Say two of you can hear me. <laughs> yeah, he's he's. Uh, oh, it's, yeah, I get it. Okay, okay, I'm a little slow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, do Jude, hey Earl, Joey, and Jabo. I would like to go to Brick World someday. I forgot what else I was going to say. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Well, at least he remembered that. Most of the time, he just says, keep up the good work because he forgets what he was going to say. <laughs> I remembered that I forgot something this time. <laughs> uh, John, John Bocature, Bocatura, mm-hmm. Bo- John Bocatura. Nice Ronnie the limo driver reference, Javo. I don't remember what you were referencing. <laughs> I don't know who Ronnie the what's Johnny, Ronnie the limo? John, oh. uh, Ronnie the limo driver. Well, now I'm curious. Yeah, it's obviously from a movie. I'm looking. I'm thinking wedding. Oh, it's a. Uh, oh, you think lemon wedding? Who got? Uh, um, I don't know. Ronnie the limo driver gets emotional. It must be a YouTuber. He's. I've a never YouTuber. heard of this. Ronnie Mund. 
Instagram. Nope, that's yeah. not the same guy. I, you stumped us. I make references okay. that I don't even know. Yeah, I know. You're going to have to clue us in on that one. Uh, JW Bowl. Yeah, I ordered from Joey and Jabo's store. First order yeah. from Joey, second from Jabo. Sorry, Earl. Your store hasn't <laughs> had enough of the parts I needed yet. Yeah, that's that's typical. But I'll keep looking. I got parts from Jabo for some mosaics earlier this year. But now I'm trying some rebrickable models. I also look for birds and other animals for my daughter's forest mod okay. when I order. Kind of like how Jabo looks for other parts he wants when he finds tipper truck parts. Well, it's supposed to be the other way around. He's supposed to buy other parts he wants and get tippers while he's there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, DL Bricks. Bricks and minifigs equals an experience and immediate gratification. Ah. It is until you look at price tags. Yeah, it's it's like I said. I I enjoy going into those places to look around, and see stuff. You see stuff you some stuff you you didn't know was existed, or some stuff you've never seen in person. But I wouldn't buy anything from there. But yeah. the the thing is, is there's plenty of people who just I don't want to say don't know any better, like they're dumb, but they just don't know, right? Oh, to them that, that would... might be the the best place for them mm -hmm. because it's, you know, they know it's, it's there and you know, there's, there, are, I don't know. I guess it's getting less and less people. Everybody buys everything online nowadays, but I know some people don't like when you buy from Bricklink and even eBay, if it's a little bit unknown, a little different than buying from like Amazon. Yeah, and if you never sold. Right. Or bought, yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, I have a question. Somebody sent me, and this, again, is, I have so many different ways people can send me a question, but somebody sent me a question about selling their, uh, this, uh, a lot of stuff. And now I can't find it. So, But I get that all the time. The, 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 and I will just say, I'll put this out there for everybody. <laughs> if you have a large collection that you want to sell, I don't want to buy it. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> because, yeah, it just find somebody else. Yeah. I got too much stuff. The person who's going to buy a large collection is somebody who's going to go through the collection, resell it, make yeah. try it's to make be money a, off of it. Yeah, Keep it's going to be a rebuild. Yeah. Here, here's my thing: is like that's what these bricks and minifigures. That's a service they can provide for those people. That it will, place for them to dump this stuff. But if you're going to offer it to sell, why don't you give me the price that they're going to pay? <laughs> yeah, but you want to get the. When people contact me, they want the top dollar. Right. I had oh Earl, I had somebody email me. Oh, I saw your Bradford Exchange video. I got a set from nineteen ninety nine. I'll sell it to you for fifteen hundred dollars. I'm like, yeah, go yeah, go sell it on eBay. Yeah, yeah. Good luck getting that. Oh my gosh. I'm oh, sorry. It's sad that they may have paid fifteen hundred dollars for it. It's probably and it's probably the retail price. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If it's a complete set. Wow. Uh, Chris Cummings, I watched Ryan's latest video about the new Star Wars set leak from the Skeleton Crew. I'm not only, I'm not going to pay one hundred and sixty dollars for that thing. I can't imagine it being less than one twenty, because I just bought the R two D two set uh, seven five three seven nine for sixty nine dollars at a Meyer store. I get he must be talking about the new C three PO. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. That must be the set he's talking about. I do want to get that C three PO buildable yeah. thing, but uh, but the thing that with the Star Wars sets is a lot of them you can get cheaper later. Mm -hmm. And like yeah. that the that Target Circle, there was a Star Wars set that I wanted when it came out. It was the Fang One Fighter. It was two two things, and it had. Um, People from Mandalorian or something in it, and now it's thirty percent off. I don't want it. <laughs> it's like, so I guess, yeah. But yeah, if I'd bought it when it's a hundred dollars, I would have been regretting it right now. I want to get the Chewbacca and and the R two D two or the R two D two. Yeah, I already got the R two D two and I got Chewbacca. So now they saw the C three PO looks like. I'm like, yeah, I definitely want. It looks a lot better than the Ch Chewbacca. Yeah, but I want to get this the C three PO on the RTD two because I want to do was it Empire Strikes Back where uh, Chewbacca is carrying C three PO in that netted bag? Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, but I don't think it. I don't think. I don't think those are to scale. Like they, the, I think they are. I think the R the R two and the C three PO is to scale, but I you don't think Chewbacca is. is. I don't think he because he no he would be a lot taller than C three. He is. Dude. I don't know. I I, 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 I I mean I don't have on the build. Have you built the, the no? But I can it? now. That you that you're forcing me to. I can do it. <laughs> I just. I, now you got to get a C-3PO in a net. I didn't even want to build Chewbacca. Now I got to build it to find out. <laughs> yeah, so you say in your video, that dang Earl. <laughs> he started talking shit. I, I guess he's right. It isn't that tall. <laughs> oh, that would be the worst part of that dinner. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> uh, Mayo, Mayo says, I'm only interested in the vintage Lego at the Bricks and Minifigs. There's lots of roundabouts in my neighborhood. I heard that excavator digger guy and issued a challenge to break saw. <laughs> no, the way it works, you're supposed to get into arguments with yourself on the channel. So it's like have a beef with this other channel that you own. Yeah, like that yeah. trains our guy. Yeah, that trains our guy. I mean, he's always taking up my, my space. <laughs> space. Uh, battery power bricks. Brian says if. If ever I'm driving through Atlanta, Jabba is more than welcome to ride shotgun and yeah. let me know what lane I should be in. That place is crazy. <laughs> Look, there's a place in uh in Gulfport, and it's yeah. it's just a beachside highway. And uh, there's this this you're you know it it's it's just a two lane highway. But there's this one spot where the lane comes from the other side, and it's not like the intersection where the lane comes and turns into you. It's like you turn on and you're on this side of the road, and then it just merges in. And it's it is like when you see a car just pop up on that side of you, oh wow, it will freak you out because yeah. cars aren't supposed to do that. They're not right. supposed to be on this side. <laughs> Have, wow. have y'all ever seen the videos of the 11 foot eight bridge? Yes. Uh -uh. That is hilarious. Yeah. I discovered another one today. It's I, and I, I got to find out more about it, but it's 11 eight foot eight, 11 foot eight bridges, little brother or something. It's, <laughs> it's actually much worse. Really? Cause it, it disintegrates trucks and then, but it has a twist so most of the trucks are coming from that same view that you see for 11, eight, 11 right. foot eight bridge. They're coming under. If cars coming the other way, there's a sidewalk that just like, if you're coming around the curve into, uh, to go under the bridge, it's like that sidewalk is suddenly in your lane. Cars oh. hit it. They hit it. And then they go into oncoming traffic. Mo oh. I mean, this was happening over and over again. So it was like the oversized trucks obliterated, and then cars just they lose their wheel and then they're going into the other lane and hitting another car. It's just like, oh my goodness. Is this Where is this is like that? a bridge that that the world has just kind of grown around that the traffic's gotten to it's yeah, I think the traffic is outgrown. It's an old tra train bridge and it's a very narrow uh, bridge. And the, the and they got a sidewalk in it. They need to That's, take the sidewalk out. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it, I couldn't believe it when I, I saw the first car. I'm like, "What just happened?" And then it was like car after car doing the same thing, and it, obviously not the same day. Right. And then the last video in this video I watched, the last truck caught on fire. Oh. <laughs> and I'm like, "Well, he tried to burn the bridge down." <laughs> <laughs> I, the the eleven foot eight bridge, they actually raised it or something. yeah, they they raised it. Yeah. So it's yeah, it's no longer. Uh, he doesn't post many, as many. The guy that yeah. has the business right there, he don't post as many videos anymore. Yeah. Uh, Gibson Star Wars collector says, "Thank you very much, guys. You are welcome. We are here for you." Uh, Janet three zero nine four. Joey, would you also consider showing your parodies <laughs> collection either here or on your own channel? This is your channel. <laughs> <laughs> What did I'll you say, Joey? It. Yeah, it's about time to recap my prediction. You know, that would be a pretty pretty interesting little series of videos going to try to find the, your sets and piece them back together. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, on Bricks, I didn't order anything on the last BrickLink series. Not sure if those who voted for these also ordered. 
or if it's more like ideas where you vote on everything that could be interesting but you don't buy waiting for the next series where there are two sets i will order yeah the, the little voting where they determine what will be the five sets or whatever uh, i i didn't even i didn't yeah, even look. i didn't either i've kind of lost interest yeah i agree yeah, you lost interest a while back. I did. I, I didn't have the patience for it. Yeah. Well, you don't need the patience for it now. Because nah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't sell out now. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Uh, Keel Jones, uh, or if Earl and Jabo would go to a convention with Joey, then he wouldn't have to spend the whole episode describing the convention to y'all. <laughs> there you go. True. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Uh, okay, we're going to have that perfect storm where we all mm -hmm. are in the same place at the same time. Oh, oh, did you hear? <laughs> her, her, I know you heard it when they were talking mm -hmm. to or Alex and yeah, Jason. I'm, I'm, this is, your AI. I'm AI over here. Your AI. <laughs> yeah. We should have played yeah. along with it. <laughs> uh, Brittany McCubbin, I personally don't waste my time at Bricks and Minifigs. Yeah, there's a, you probably should just waste your time hanging out in the parking lot, cutting people <laughs> With off. Alex. <laughs> yeah, Alex. <Yeah. laughs> hey, kid, come here. So uh, the other day, I uh, I didn't have nowhere to put my Avengers tower, so I had to take my roller coaster apart. Right. It's kind of painful when you take apart. Yeah. A, a good set like that. Mine's like yours though it wouldn't it won't run anymore. Yeah, that's how mine was. It got it something it must have got offset or something when I yeah. moved it and the original roller coaster. Yeah. The white one. Yeah. yeah. So uh now it's in a box and it's kinda like it's probably gonna never yeah. come out of that box. Yeah. yeah. And that's what that's what the depressing it, part is. Yeah. <laughs> it's somebody who's built and taken apart Dozens of roller coasters. <laughs> it is sad because I thought oh, I can rebuild it later. Yeah. So far, I've rebuilt yeah. zero yeah. of them. And that's why that's kind of where you don't you kind of I don't lose interest in building sets, but when I get done building, it's like what am, where am I going to put it? What am I? Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's not the. And if I, you got to take. And I think it was easier back in the day. The our generation of Lego sets like you took something apart put it away mm -hmm. you could rebuild it later right in 15 minutes yeah you know like i had to move my galaxy explorer too uh, and i think i might take it apart unless yeah. i can figure out how to hang it from the hang ceiling it. you just hit on a really interesting we need to i need to put it in the show notes but we need to talk about it next time sets today okay I don't. Yeah, I, I have an idea. I'll put it in the show notes. We'll talk about it next time. Okay. But yeah, sets versus yeah. when we were a kid versus what they are now. Yeah. And that, take it that's, apart. That's perfect. That's like yeah. what Jason does. Wait, wait. We're gonna talk about that next week. In yeah. ten minutes, when we film next week, we'll start yeah. talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I had this idea. I have all. Once I have all the Fabulands, at least the pieces to the Fabuland sets, mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, I got this theme. A hundred sets. Mm -hmm. All oh. right. Man, what the, you go get one of the UCS sets. No. You start building. I'll build my fabulous. Let's see who gets done first. No. I'll build a hundred sets. You know what you need to do is you know how uh, he does that. Uh, I, I built a hundred sets in a hundred days or something. You could do. I built a hundred sets in ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Day one have the the slash thumbnail. <laughs> day one, day one hundred, <laughs> day thirty, whatever it is. That's what I thought about doing in August. Build three sets a day. For August, mm. but I gotta have somewhere to put them. Right, I don't, yeah, know the, the whole I don't know how much space it's gonna take. Space. It's Did you be. see the uh, 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 the factory tour memory lane? It sold for seven thousand something dollars. Mm. That's crazy. I mean, crazy. that's just. Let me check my wallet. Yeah, I ain't got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess somebody. You know, if if you've got that much money to spend on it, why aren't you just going to do do the tour? It would be cheaper to do the tour than spend the seven thousand dollars on it. 
I mean, it's ridiculous to spend the seven. And you'd have your picture on the box. Mm -hmm. There's the thing. Yeah. I mean, again, it's a memento. It's a, it's a, it's, a, it's probably a once in a lifetime yeah. thing. It would be for me because at my elderly age. <laughs> so let me ask you, I got one more thing I just thought about. So I finished building this set. And you know how you're always framing the comic books poster art? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've been really thinking about taking this panel. Ooh. And frame and cutting it off, cutting the flap off. Oh, oh, cutting it off your box. I know. And I, I, oh. I found the frame on Amazon and I was like, oh, if I do it, I want to do it. I got a spot to put it. But man, I don't know if I want to cut the box. But and I, you I'll, know what's sad? There's out there, there's somebody throwing their box in a dumpster right now. Yep. yep. <clears throat> I'm really. Jacob just the other day, he's like, "We need to do the box wall again," mm -hmm. and that's why you know I had a bunch of damaged boxes that I just tacked up on a one of those bulletin board type things. And uh, so but I won't worry. A, about it. That is a good looking pe piece, right? Yeah, there. it's that's, like that's, that's, you need to find somebody who wants to throw their box away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I agree. I agree. But if you cut it, I mean. That's what I think I'm going to do. So. How, how many of your old boxes have you actually gone back and used them again? I know. And I've got a, I've got a pile of them. But if I sell pile. this, uh -huh. if I sell this one day, I want to have the box. Yes, exactly. But I'm thinking I'm, I am thinking I'm going to do it. Yeah. I would. I think it looks good. Do it. Do it. Earl. And the thing is, you'd still have the piece. So yeah, the box yeah. would technically still be complete. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, what's the difference in an open box or a box missing one flap? Yeah, I've bought boxes missing two thirds of it just to get part of the box because that's all that was available. That one, one of those classic space sets, all mm -hmm. I got it was like but, the flap or something. But it's kind of hard because the that is an odd size and the frame. Oh, the, odd size. Yeah. The, the dimensions are on it, but it's a little. It's kind of like, do I really want to spend thirty dollars on a frame? And the frame is just for that flap. It's not for it fits the dimensions. Oh, the it dimensions. fits the dimensions. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, you could do a maybe you could do a shadow box and make that yeah. the background of the yeah. shadow box and yeah. put many many things in front or Ooh. around because there's there's big black spots on both sides, right? Big yeah. black, blank. That would look kind of cool. That would look cool. Uh, I think you got a project. Yeah. Arts and crafts with Earl. <laughs> I'm gonna when we get off of this, I think I'm gonna go see if they have a shadow box, but <laughs> that's a... there you go. I think it'd be cool. That's a good idea. Yeah, I like it. Well, we feel like we just wound down. Are we wound down? Dang. <laughs> Is it over? Uh, we hit two hours <laughs> again. <laughs> and we got through our show notes somehow. I guess we're over. Well, well, that was another episode, <laughs> and we're wore out. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I'm I'm doing the role of Joey. I got to go in early tonight. Oh, oh, uh, I'm going in at two in the morning. Yeah, it's, oh, this you're is my early day. To be, I don't have to be there till four. Well, I've I'd been up since three thirty. Does that count for anything? Yes, yeah. it does. Yeah, it very yeah. much so does. <laughs> and you know why we're still talking? <laughs> Because we love our viewers. That's right. That's right. And, and we're tired, and it's and that's when people don't shut up is when they're tired. <laughs> <laughs> and it's amazing that we we've been doing this this long, and we we feel guilty if we don't go two hours. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I looked up at the clock at one point, and it felt like we hadn't been doing it for like five or ten minutes. It was already thirty minutes had passed. I was like, oh, it's going to be a long yeah. night. I, and I hope it. I hope it's. That way for people as they watch, whether they, I, I doubt most people watch it all at once, but right, yeah. if you're doing this, uh, thank you for watching and Absolutely. be sure to subscribe to Joey's channel, the fastest growing A-Fool podcast channel <laughs> on, on the internet. <laughs> but if you didn't like it, um, go buy me a V-neck sweater. <laughs> I'll wear it. <laughs> <laughs> at least for at least for 15 minutes while I make yeah. a video. 
<laughs> All right. Are we done? Yeah. <laughs> I may have to edit the ending part of that. So. Thank you.